Hey guys, welcome to my top 10 bucket or spigot plugins for 2016 and Minecraft 1.9. So these are my own opinion. I feel these are definitely the top 10 plugins that you can get right now. All of them are free, so you can go to the link and download them for your server. And with that, let's get into number 10. So to start off the list, we have the plugin Locket, which is a very useful plugin that's used a lot in survival and faction servers. So it allows you to protect your chest, your furnaces, anvils, and even enchantment tables. So it stops people from breaking it, and most importantly, getting the items inside. So a really cool feature of this plugin is allowing other people, so your friends, to get in the chest as well. And the way to do that is by adding them to um, a separate line. For example, line 3, I could add my other accounts, or line 4, I could add another friend. So that's why this is in my top 10. At number 9 we have the amazing portal plugin Creative Gates. So this plugin is so amazing, it allows you to create portals using a clock rather than commands. So the way to do this is you stick it in an anvil, rename the clock to anything you want, and then right click a portal. So the portals can be of any shape as long as they have two emerald blocks inside. Once you've done that you can go ahead and right click another portal and they will be linked if you use the same clock with the same name. And that's how you do it. You can create as many as you want. And that's definitely why it's in my top 10 plugins. So at number 8 we have the amazing plugin Ultra Cosmetics. It has so many different features such as morphs, pets, suits, hats, particle effects and even mounts. So I've shown off a few in this little snippet. But overall it's a fantastic plugin. Obviously you can download it for free off of Spigot and test out all the different features for yourself but my personal favorite is the Nyan sheep which you can run about on uh, that changes color so that is why it's in my top 10 plugins and at number seven we have dice furniture so I've covered this plugin multiple times as it keeps being updated and the developer keeps adding more and more objects so this plugin includes tables tents sunshades street lamps chairs blackboards camera television, campfires, and so much more. And the great thing about this is some of them are interactive, such as the camera, you can take a picture with it, and the tents, you can change the color of them. It's such a fantastic plugin, and it's made really well. And the best part about it is it's free to download, which is great. You can also download some more furniture models, which is really cool. And I can't wait to see what else the developer adds to this plugin. So at number six, we have DimeMap, which is a great plugin. It's the Minecraft version of Google Maps, so it shows your server from a satellite's perspective in a browser such as Google. And the cool thing about this plugin, it's highly configurable, so you can change so many different things about how the map actually looks. And there are tons of different add-ons to show maybe faction regions, world guard regions, mobs, and so many other different things. So I want to cover this in a plugin tutorial very soon, and that's why it's on my top 10 list. At number five, we have holographic displays, which is a fantastic plugin that allows you to create floating text lines. Now, the cool thing about this is you can edit each line separately. You can add color codes, you can even add symbols, or you can have the animated rainbow color. And there are also animations that you can use. It's a great plugin for spawns as you can give information to players without them having to type a command or read signs. So that is why it is on my top 10 list. So at number 4 is Multiverse which is the best world management plugin out there. It has so many different features including creating multiple different worlds with different seeds, different types of worlds such as the nether, the end, void worlds and you can use custom generators made by other developers to create amazing worlds such as city world and some really cool terrain generators. There are also other features such as configuring each world to your liking and using add-ons such as multiverse portals and inventories. So that is why it is on my top 10 bucket or spigot plugins. So at number three we have Core Protect which is a fast efficient data logging anti-griefing tool. It allows you to roll back and restore any griefing that has been going on. So if a player's house has been um, destroyed, you can go over there, see who has done it and when they did it. You can then ban that player or kick them or something. 
and then you can roll back the building using a radius or using the player that has been griefing. So there's so many different features in this plugin, but the main feature is to roll back griefing and see who has done it so you can ban them. And that is why it's on my top 10 list because anti-griefing tools are very, very useful. So at number two, of course, we have to have Essentials. This is an amazing plugin with over 100 useful commands, a huge config file where you can change so many different things about your server. It also has loads of different add-ons such as Essentials Chat, Anti-Build and Group Manager, which allow you to, to do so many more things. So uh, you can change how the chat is formatted, where players spawn, you can create warps, signs, color codes, and so many other different things that uh, I, could, I just couldn't name it all. And you can also create kits, spawn mobs, and change how permissions work. Obviously you need group manager for that. So that is why it is number two on my top 10 list. So at number one, we have World Edit, which is by far my favorite plugin out there. There is just so much you can do with this and I've enjoyed messing around with this plugin so much. So where do I start? Well, you can use the brush tool to create huge mountains, which I have done to create my hubs. You can use the wand to re replace one block with another. You can use the percentage tool to replace a boring wall with lots of different blocks. You can create different shapes such as pyramids, cylinders, spheres, and you can make them hollow as well, which is really cool. And not only that, you can copy and paste buildings and save them as schematics to use them in an external program such as MC Edit. And that is why it is on my list and more specifically top of the list. So thanks guys for watching my top 10 bucket or spigot plugins for 2016 and Minecraft 1.9. I had a lot of fun choosing the plugins to be in the top 10. I will be back tomorrow, hopefully with another plugin tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and like and leave any plugins that you think I should have included that I didn't in the comments below. And I will see you next time.